It's Umsum time! What if Earth huh? lost its atmosphere? Then I would cover it using my um sum umbrella. Ah. Wow, um sum. Sound travels to our ears by vibrating air molecules which are present mm. all around us. Now, no atmosphere means no air. Hence, there would be complete silence. <laughs> Secondly, no atmosphere means no oxygen. Life on land would not last for more than five minutes. But life inside oceans might continue for some time as fishes will use dissolved oxygen to survive. Eventually, even that supply will run out. Thirdly, no atmosphere means no clouds. Our sky would lose its magnificent blue color. It would look just as black as outer space. Hmm. Fourthly, unfortunately, birds can't fly in a vacuum. They will drop down to Earth. Lastly, without any atmosphere, days would be shorter by four minutes while nights longer as atmospheric refraction advances sunrise by two minutes and delays sunset by two minutes. What if Earth was flat? I don't like flats. I like bungalows. Oh, um some. Earth would not remain flat for a long time as gravity will oh. make sure it again pops up into a sphere. Remember, gravity pulls equally from all sides, hence planets are spherical. Now, if Earth was flat and not a sphere, then it would obviously stop rotating. This will lead to the following oh. problems. Firstly, only revolution around the sun but no rotation around its axis would mean that Earth will experience a six-month-long day, followed by a six-month-long night. Secondly, it is believed that rotation of Earth generates its magnetic field. Without rotation, there would be no magnetic field to protect us from the harmful solar winds. Also, it would mean an end to the world-famous lights called auroras as they are formed due to the interaction between Earth's magnetic field and particles of solar wind. Mm. What if Earth started spinning backwards? Then I'll eat my burrito backwards. Oh, listen, backward spinning of the Earth is termed as a retrograde motion. Now, to understand the effects of this retrograde motion on Earth, scientists perform some simulations. In these simulations, the first noticeable change was that the direction of winds and ocean currents reversed, causing changes in climactic conditions. This resulted in a much greener Earth as the world's desert shrank from 42 million square kilometers to 31 million square kilometers. Hmm. Secondly, at present, rising level of carbon dioxide is contributing to global warming. But in the retrograde world, with more trees to absorb carbon dioxide, oh. the global mean temperature dropped by about 0.2 degrees Celsius, thus considerably lowering the effects of global warming. Lastly, the rainfall pattern also changed. As a result, the Great Sahara Desert and the Arabian Desert got covered in trees and grasses. Hmm. While never seen before deserts emerged oh. in southern Brazil and Argentina. Hmm. What if the Earth had rings like Saturn? Then Jupiter would be jealous of both of them. Oh, um <laughs> some. Earth would have rings if a celestial body like Moon or Comet gets too close to it and exceeds the Roche limit. It will get ripped apart into pieces, thus forming its rings. First of all, Earth would look spectacular. Secondly, selfies might be called ringies, as people will start taking selfies with rings as a backdrop. Thirdly, nights would be much brighter than they are now. This is because the rings would be much closer than the moon and also much more spread apart, thus reflecting much more light. Fourthly, weather patterns or atmospheric composition might change depending upon what the rings are made up of. Saturn's rings are made of billions of particles of ice, rocks, and dust. <laughs> Lastly, they would surely top the world's best tourist destination hmm. list. Hmm. What if an asteroid hit Earth? No ways! I will protect Earth using my Umsum shield. <laughs> wow, Umsum. An asteroid is a small <laughs> rocky body orbiting the sun. Millions of asteroids lie in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. 
The asteroid which hit Earth almost 65 million years ago is considered to be the sole reason behind the extinction of dinosaurs. The force with which an asteroid hits the Earth is not the only problem. The dust and smoke which arise in the atmosphere after the impact block the sunlight, resulting in the lowering of overall temperature and eventually leading to the death of a number of species. If an apartment-sized asteroid were to hit Earth, then it would probably wipe out a small city. If a 20-storied building-sized asteroid were to hit Earth, then it might completely flatten a small country. 